viewers you're welcome once more so on the screen right now we are having a double line piping representation here so uh, we want to see how we can transform this double line piping representation to be a single line piping representation in the sense that use this uh, kind of the pictorial view of the piping system so we want to use the symbol to arrive at this um, same conclusion like we earlier mentioned engineers normally use the symbols so that to save more of their time so um uh the system here comprises of fittings which are the parts that makes up the system now if we trace down to this part we have a cap that discontinues the the pipe any connection discontinues the connection just like uh, normal caps do so we have um, a lateral here which is also known as the y fitting and what it does is um, it connects a pipe um and tray or displaces the fuse in three dimensions connecting three pipes together this this and uh, also this then we have the gate valve here that regulates the flow of um, the fluids we have a, a, a union here that connects two pipes as the name implies then we have um, a cross here just like a normal normal cross uh, displaces the water in four different ways or the different dimensions this part um here here and also um here and we have a plug here that means this place is being blocked and um, this one symbolizes that there is also a continuity here. Then um, tracing down, we have um, a globe here that also does the same function as this, but in different um, perspectives. Then we have a 90 degree elbow here that changes the direction of the piping system. We have a T here that displaces the fuse in three different ways, here, here, and also here. Then we have an elbow, but this elbow is situated towards the, um, towards the inside, so we don't really know if it is a 90 degree elbow or a 45 degree elbow then this t is connected to a flange a flange joint which is also known as a coupling then it check, a check valve now this check valve what it does is in case of maintenance this is what we do or we use to know if there is a water flow then we have the transition piece now what the transition piece does is um is if you look at this part the pipe is a kind of large compared to here now what the transition piece or otherwise known as the reducer does is to reduce the size of the pipe from a larger one to a smaller one and in, um, in a sense reducing the volume of the water that passes through this part but increases the pressure now it is being connected to a 45 elbow which is connected to the lateral now this transition piece um, is known to be the uh, con concentric type the concentric um, reducer because we have different types um, of uh, reducer but this one is known as a concentric type so let's see if how we can use the symbols to represent this whole piping system so i'm just going to tr um, trace it down to um, this part so here you can actually start your work from any part but i let me prefer i prefer using this part you know it's more easier for me so let's see so we have um starting from here we have a plain pipe let's see if we can arrive at this so uh right now we have um a plain pipe so i'm going to use um, this as a plain pipe a stroke signifying the plain pipe so this stroke signifying the plain pipe thereafter we have um a 45 degree elbow sorry a 90 degree elbow this way now we are going to indicate that is a fitting so we are indicating with signs like this then um we have a uh, a glow valve here and this is the symbol for a glow valve glow valve okay now the glow valve is being um, connected to a T this is a fitting remember okay, it's connected to a T so we are going to represent the T as this yeah 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 and also yeah now it has a plug so we are indicating that it has a plug yeah so um, we all this is connected to a union and the union is represented this way then um the gate valve gate valve is represented this way okay it is a fitting so we indicate here then uh, we have um the lateral which is a kind of y so this way okay so it is connected so we use this sign too then the cap all right so the last uh, lateral if you look at it it's having tracing the pipe towards this direction uh, that's exactly what we are going to do now you're going to trace it downwards that's okay then now um, we have a 45 degree elbow indicates this is a 45 degree elbow then um 
is connected to a transition a transmission transition piece which is otherwise known as the reducer the reducer or a concert, uh, uh, concentric one so we're using this okay then uh, we have um, this continuous so a check valve a check valve is represented this way all right okay after this check valve we have a flange joint so this is a flange joint this way then the flange joint connected to a t okay so we are going to indicate that this is a t this way and also this way um this is a check valve it is a connection so we indicate that so um what next do we have we have the elbow here that um it's not indicated whether it is a 45 degree elbow or in um a 90 degree elbow or a 45 degree elbow so what we're going to use we're going to use this representing an hollow part okay so this is what we have here now we have a 45 90 degree elbow okay we have um a globe valve we have a cross that has a plug then we have a union we have a gate valve we have the wire lateral capped tracing down we have um, the 45 degree elbow, a reducer, then we have a check valve, we have a coupling or um, a flange joint, then we have the T and of course the elbow here. Yeah. So this is the same thing as this, but this is the double view, the double line representation, why this is the single line representation. So I'm going to indicate here, this is a single line piping representation sorry representation so representation of a piping drawing or layout so this is what we're having. Let's see if we can try to label. This is um, the 45 degree elbow. This is a cap. Then the Y fitting. The Y fitting. So we have um, a gate valve here. A gate valve here. Thereafter, we have a union. We have um, the cross. That has a plug beneath beneath it we have a plug then uh, we have um, the globe valve globe valve then we have the 90 degree elbow we have the the T we have an elbow here a coupling here we have um, a check valve here and of course the reducer but this part is um otherwise known as a concentric reducer so this is this this is the double line representation why this is known as a single line representation thank you for watching if this video is kind of helpful to you please like share and also subscribe on my youtube channel thank you why am I looking for next?